Welcome back to another episode of The Wind Down. Woo, we are pleased to have our special guest, Jay Ellis, who's yeah. famously known for his character, Lawrence, who will be joining us in Unpacking Low-Key Happy. Yeah. yeah. This was a big episode. It was a big episode. It went down. It went down. <laughs> <laughs> Issa and Lawrence have been through a lot this series. Mm -hmm. Why do you think this was the right time for them to unpack their relationship? It just feels like now they've both kind of gotten through that moment and can really have an honest conversation with each other in a way that they never have before, where like there's no blame, there's no your fault, my fault, you know what I mean? Yeah, I also think Condola's question helps. Sometimes you don't think about the what if, or um, I think that him being posed that question yeah. forced him to think about things in a new light and the bravery to have him call her and try to discuss it with her to see what's up, what, where would I go wrong? Or did I give up too easily? You know, women can usually like, will forgive more in mm -hmm. a certain way. And we talked about in the room, like the reverse of that, men having a harder time with a woman who cheats on them. And we want to unpack that for Lawrence. And is it just gonna be my pride that gets in the way of this? Or, or, or what did I do wrong? to contribute to that, then maybe let me unpack it and maybe my feelings aren't fully over. Nothing. He did absolutely nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he did nothing to contribute. Wow. <laughs> there were lines that you said in the episode that say differently, yeah. so... Y'all wrote it, so... <laughs> oh, so you have to say it, so you don't believe it. Great, great acting, sir. <laughs> so, the sit-down dinner scene. What do you think they realize about each other after having that discussion? There are so many new truths. I mean, for Issa to find out that Lawrence was so deep in doubt and insecurities and depression that he wanted to leave and go home and he was kind of staying because he didn't want to let her down. You know, I think she thinks that she was supportive but didn't know how to be supportive. I think for me, it's that dagger moment when Issa says that sometimes she used to just drive around because yeah, she didn't want to go home. Oh man, that was heartbreaking. Don't nobody ever want to hear that. Mm. Like processing, hearing that for the first time for me, it's this moment where Lawrence goes like, oh shit, like I, I put up this wall yeah. that was so big. Yeah. What I liked about this was it was sharing things about each other that neither the other knew. Maybe I bought a ring, I used to drive around, like I wanted to move home, but I didn't tell you, you know what I mean? Like all these types of things of like, I didn't feel like you wanted to touch me. Like there's so much there that's like, oh, I, we were holding all this in that maybe had we shared some of these things, like why you say, why didn't you tell me? It's like, it's hard to say those things. Yeah, I mean, you both could have said those things to each other. That was the biggest realization is that they weren't talking, oh, yeah. you know? Condola was like a little gnat in this episode to me. Um, she just kept on, Appearing, yeah, just like, you know, every single time we got deeper and deeper, here she comes. What do you think about the way that Lawrence was responding to Condola's texts and calls? Uh, it, it reminds me of those moments where it's like, you're trying to do the right thing or the thing that feels at least good at the moment, but like something kind of keeps like, mm -hmm. it's like that Michael Corleone line. It's like, as soon as you get out, they put yeah, you right yep, back yep. in. You know what I'm saying? Like it almost reminded me of that. But I think in, for him, I think it was a reminder that like, A, there was something that needed to be finished there, but then B, also he was not going to let the conversations and the text from Condola stop the moment that he was having with Issa. Yeah. Because he, A, may never get this moment again. And B, this is, the first time that the two of them have been in a space where they could be vulnerable, but also be just kind of carefree with each other and just be relaxed around each yeah. other. I mean, that moment, Lawrence was gonna let Issa go. Issa having to, at the end, kind of step up and decide like, we're never gonna get this moment again. If I walk out this door, I will not be a part of his tomorrow. Condola might, he might go over there yeah. and rekindle something. So this is my only chance. I say that as soon as Lawrence invited Issa into the apartment and asked to go to the bathroom, I for sure think that Issa went in the mirror. And had a wrap. <laughs> like, had a wrap. <laughs> that was for sure what she did. What about that cat? It feels to me like uh, when you got a real one, don't let him go. <laughs> yeah, Lawrence High. I'm just saying. <laughs> you flipped it. You thought it was. You thought it was. Yeah, exactly. That was about yourself. So obviously, um, at the end of the night, y'all do the nasty. <laughs> <laughs> I remember the script that says make L O V E. Yeah. 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 <laughs> uh, but is there hope for Issa and Lawrence? At the end of this episode, to me, what we see is like two people who are fully accepting of each other for who they are. Yeah. You see Issa walking home at the end of the episode, kind of just satisfied with what happened. 
And I think that satisfaction goes either way. Like mm -hmm. I can walk away from him and feel like, okay, I got all the answers I needed yeah. or I'm ready to explore something yeah. down the line. So we got to watch and see what yeah. each one it is. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> so thank you again for joining us for another episode of The Wind Down. We can't wait for you to join us again next week. Woo. Cheers, y'all. Two more. Cheers, two yeah. more episodes. What's going to happen? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I know. <laughs> <laughs>